Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Thank you everyone for the kind comments about me not feeling so well. Ow, ooh, hot. And anyways, I am feeling much better today. <laughs> Got a little burn there. Anyways, uh, feeling much perky. Better, better, no problems. It always happens. When I do, it, I can be down for a few days and then I'm back to myself, so... It is what's to be expected when you go through a spiritual awakening. I know a full moon is coming, so hopefully it won't affect me at that point in time. It is scientifically proven with the water in our body uh, that it changes our equilibrium and everything since we're made of water and it alters all of that. So there's science that backs it up. Anyways, so let's get into Harry. Uh, a lot of the royal histo historians are saying that Harry is going to become a royal um, uh, anti-monarchist. So I want to find out. He's going to go totally uh, off the rails, I guess, is what they're saying. Um, in a lot of re due respects, it's looking that way. It's heading that way. Uh, so I actually did agree with um, the post on Twitter. Uh, the guy's, I guess, a famous uh, columnist was saying it and he covers the British monarchy so uh, it is kind of a common thought with them now at this point in time with the way his behavior is so let's find out is Harry going to become total anti-monarchy when his grandmother passes away will Harry become totally anti-monarchy when his grandmother passes away and yes I will flip these in the right direction my head is not clouded today okay so I'm going to now cut this one wants to come out it popped I'm going to take it so that's the magician so he will manifest it it's like magic to him it's a trick so yeah and with the magician there's also a lot of lies and deception he can also be quite the liar he could pull anything out of his hat basically whatever he feels like so that is what I'm going to say for starters under the deck he's going to try and stay calm cool and collected while doing so and appear grounded appear grounded and in mod within moderation so i would say he's going to manifest it within moderation uh, is what he's going to do i'm going to cut it now i just like to do that pull out an extra few it just seems to work for me so here we go first card here the sun yep he's going to see the situation absolutely that is the main card here. That is the present position. He has every intentions of seating the situation, and it gives his heart a little jump of joy. Yep, he is. And the challenging position for him is the star. He does realize, do I want to do this? Uh, it's not for healing purposes. He knows he will never heal because, you know, or he actually feels it would heal him by taking him down. I take that back. He does feel it would heal him, but it is a challenging position. He's not healed. He'll never be healed. That's the bottom line because he's got a mental illness that's never going to go away. So that's kind of a, a diluted thought, in my opinion. Uh, so yes, this is his hope. Uh, the star is a hope card. His hope is to seed the situation because it will make him happy. And in his mind, he thinks this will give him healing and a renewal, uh, and starting new things. Uh, and he thinks it's for universal consciousness. This is the universal consciousness card. So he thinks he's, he's really the do-gooder of uh, wokeness in all essence, because, and that's his challenging position is healing and, and, and uh, making it happen. So he really does think that this is gonna bring him some kind of renewal, a renewal card. So he thinks he can renew himself by taking down others uh, the monarchy within moderation, not a hardcore tower crashing card, which is good for them, but it is within mo within within um, you know within reason in his mind. He's he's thinking he's going to do it within moderation. He's going to do it because a temperance is a moderation card, trying to stay moderate. So he will, he definitely will within moderation. So he's not going to be out to completely destroy his brother, but he's going to enjoy taking taking jabs and uh, drawing negative attention to them. Here we go. So the uh, focal point here is the Queen of Wands, and it would be because he's doing it for her. Go figure. She's always the focus point. Why is it she's always in the focus position? 
The guy can't think for himself. The guy is a puppet. Okay. Hidden energy. There we go. There's the there's Harry card. Harry is the Harry the Hermit card. This is his card in the deck. And it's because of loneliness, isolation, depression, inability to think for himself, inability to go inward and look at himself in order to heal. Because that's what you have to do in order to heal. You have to actually look at your inner wounds and you got to rip off the scab and you've got to look at it. And you got to sit with it. You've got to be compassionate with it. And that is how you heal is by healing your inner wounds, your inner child wounds. He's not going to do that. He has no ability to look at himself. He doesn't want to go inward anymore. He's basically pretty dark inside. He's very, very dark inside. And he has absolutely no idea what he's going to do with himself. He does not have his, his path lit. He depends on her. She is the focus. She tells him how to go, what to say, when to go to bed, when to wake up, what to, everything is, she is the puppet master. Proof right here puppet master uh in the in the distant past in the excuse me in the near future is going to be the chariot the wheels falling off so he's going to feel like he's the loser uh he's going to feel like he's not getting what he wants he's going to feel like you know he's got to break this cycle uh so he wants to break the cycle of feeling like a loser feeling loneliness and isolated uh, so he is going to need to break that cycle, and how he's doing it, I don't know, but we shall find out. I think he's really at risk of self-harm within himself, uh, but he's going to feel like this. He's going to feel like his wheels are falling off, and he made the wrong decision, and that he is the loser position. So he's not going to be in the winner position by doing this in the future. Um, he's just going to feel like he's exhausted, and he cannot go up against them anymore. He is going to realize he's losing the battle losing the battle and that's another reason why he's doing it because he knows he's kind of in the loser position he's not in that lead position and that's why he does what he does it's because he's got this inner darkness within himself and has an inability to totally look at himself and whatever those inner wounds were that started when he was really young he's not he has not healed them uh, and the in the future for the future this is going to be a uh, the knight of cups so he's going to try and make make amends he's going to wear his heart on his sleeve and he's going to try and just do it and come in with his heart on his sleeve and probably try and ask for forgiveness is what he may end up doing so that's what that is saying anti-monarchy hmm. monarchist i guess is how they say it and then we have here the page of wands the decision is the page of wands so that is that new path he's going to bring in a message uh, that he is rather feisty, uh, that he likes to put news and and this is the job, this is high energy, impulsive. So he's going to probably uh, talk about how impulsive he is. If he does go in, he realizes he's being impulsive. He realizes he's being feisty, uh, being very bold, enthusiastic. This is putting out all kinds of stuff to the news and he's going to do it with total enthusiasm and passion, very high energy very impulsive and so this is what he's going to do and this is his decision he's going to do it even though he doesn't realize it yet that his wheels are going to fall off and he's going to lose uh, but he's going to do it with high emotions like he's wearing with his heart on his sleeve also that's another way this can be read is that he wants to come off as the lovable prince the prince that everybody loves the one that you love then is still here i'm still here so that's how I feel about that, too, with that Knight of Cups is he wants to be liked and feel like he is that I, kind of like idolistic energy, that warrior, that, you know, that knight on, a, on his heart with, you know, with his heart on his sleeve. And he's very emotional and you should believe me. So he's kind of getting the same playbook from Markle. I think she is probably getting him to open up his emotions because that worked for her. And so that is sort of a projection. She's probably projecting the energy onto him. You need to use your emotions, Harry. Uh, if you use your emotions and you wear your heart on your sleeve, uh, you get that compassion from people and you, you pull at their heartstrings. She knows that if you do that, you pull at their heartstrings. So then Harry's going to try and make it work to pull on people's heartstrings. And that's kind of what this is, is he's going to have that energy to do it. Uh, he's going to be very risk taker in order to do it. And it is sort of a, it's a charismatic battle. So part of that charismatic battle is to use his emotions on his sleeve uh, is how that's reading. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to play the pity card, the emotions and people. How can they how can they say no if I'm crying and I'm I'm being Mr. Seeming like all authentic and emotional and opening up 
people will will uh, want to want to uh, feed into it. So I think that's the angle she's going to go with him. But he is going to be feeling weak. He's going to be feeling overwhelmed, and he's going to have an inability to control himself from within. He will. He cannot control himself from within as much as he'd like to. He cannot do it. So this means he's going to. He is going to feel overtaken. Uh, as you can see here with the strength, there's that girl on the ground, literally dropping down to your knees, feeling like you're overwhelmed and overtaken by by strength. And so we've got here the two loser positions here for him. You know, he is going to feel overwhelmed and overtaken by the family uh, that he cannot he cannot top them. He cannot beat them as much as he wants to be that anti monarchist and, uh, you know, man, you know, manifest and put out uh, that manifesting, uh, you know, that darkness that he's favoring. Uh, he's going to feel beat down. He's going to feel beat down in the process. He's going to put in a great effort, though. Then here we go. The external pressures, which will be from her pulling the, his puppet strings, will be, we've got to keep going. We're going to keep going. Even though his struggle, his struggle is not being able to do it right here, the future. You know, he can't do it. He's going to feel like he's not going to be able to do it. She's going to keep pushing him along, uh, not allowing him to give up. In essence, he's not allowed to stop. You're not allowed to quit. And the reason why he's not allowed to quit is she's going to need him to bring in money. She needs him for the title. She needs him for the money. She needs him to collect energies uh, to expand uh, the energetic netting uh, to capture more people. Uh, I, I like to, I'm now kind of calling this in terms with Harry and Meghan, sort of the putting out a net, a net to capture energy. And the King of Pentacles is a banker. So we like banking a bunch of energy, collecting people, expand your network, expand, ex you know, collecting energy, the bank of energies. Uh, they need lots of energetic people. They need energy to expand their support network. And so that's what she needs them for on top. And that's the only way they're going to make money is that they can keep throwing out that net and capture more energy. And that's what he has to keep doing. She's not going to let him stop because it, without him, she's going to completely fall. So not going to happen. They're not going to succeed, but she's going to push them to do it, to keep putting that energy out there uh, and being like the King of Pentacles to be up against his brother. And the King of Pentacles really is uh, the master of the coin. It's showing tolerance and empathy. It's trying to be successful. It is also the manifesting card. It is the Magi card in a regular playing deck. Uh, this is someone who has it all. So she wants to have it all. We've got to have it all. So having it all would be tearing them down uh, to raise himself up, which is very typical energy of toxic people. And so that's really the energy here is we're going to tear them down to raise ourselves up and collect more people and throw out the nets to capture more people into our web here. And we're going to act like we're very grounded and we're going to do it uh, very carefully and insidiously. Uh, they're going to do it with, in moderation, which is probably with moderation. The way I feel about the moderation, it's going to be sort of the, um, which a lot of, uh, a lot of CEOs and business people do when they do marketing. I think it's going to be a marketing strategy is what I'm feeling with this temperance card. And that is the drip feed. Since it's a moderation and a manifesting, it's a drip feed. We're just going to drip feed the negativity. Just drip, 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 drip. And that's the approach I think he's going to take. Instead of going, coming in like a bull Taurus, I think he's going to try the drip feed, drip feed, you know. And that drip feed just plays on people's consciousness. And it really sinks in longer and deeper than if you throw something at them. And if it's just this continual drip, you're more likely to capture people into your, your net that you put out there to be the bank of people. You know, the bank, let's become the bank of, of collecting people and energies. Uh, but bottom line, at the bottom of the deck here is we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. He's going to crack open. He's, it's going to fall apart. It's going to be bad luck. It's not going to spin in his way. And then once again, he's going to have to break that cycle. And that cycle will be broken and he's going to fail. It will be a fail, ultimate failure. And then here we have here the Knight of Pentacles. There he goes. He's going to fall off his horse, literally. 
and we have here the death card and he's going to feel like it's a death it's like it's all over with i tried everything i could i did everything i could to drip feed negativity take them down being the anti-monarchy uh, prince and it's going to feel like a death and then he's going to realize i have to change I have to change. I'm I fell off my horse. It's not working out. It's breaking open. I have to change the cycle. I have to break this bad luck cycle. He's going to realize at that point that he went down this really wrong path. So he's going to stay on the path with her. He's still the puppet, completely the puppet. Nothing's changed. Complete total puppet here between here and here. You know, this is the focus and this is the hidden energy. She's got complete total control over him, and she is not going to let her grip down. No way. No way. He is so vulnerable and so depressed. She's got him exactly where she wants him, and that's where it's going to stay for now. But we got this death card. It's going to feel like a death for him. So that's where he runs into trouble, like I've always said in the past. He, you know, and other people, I'm not the only one to say this. I listened to an interview. It was from that pornographic guy. Uh, about Markle's video, which is being sold apparently in Germany and the Netherlands, if you care to get a hold of it, um, is that they all said it too on this podcast. They think Harry will be lucky if he walks away alive. Uh, so I thought, wow, they're on the same, they have the same wavelength thought I was having, which is he'll be lucky if he makes it out alive. Uh, Self harming himself is, is a huge, huge risk for him because he's literally losing everything. Uh, so let's find out what's going to happen when he gets that death card. That death card. Please explain the death card, spirit guides and angels. Please explain the death card. Please explain the death card. Please explain the death card. Here we go. It popped. So what we have here is the hangman in reverse with the hangman. So the hangman in reverse, excuse me, the magician in reverse is he, he tried to take a vision and put it into reality. You know, he wanted to manifest, he wanted to bring everything out, like we did, we had that card earlier, but he's going to realize he's got at untapped talent, that it was a poor plan, and he's not able to do it, and it was manipulation. And now he's, he's forced to hang from the tree of life and take a new perspective, and self-sacrifice. That is self-sacrifice card. So if you take self-sacrifice with feeling depressed, and let down and realizing you have untapped talent that you're basically a loser that you had a poor plan and you manipulated everyone and self-sacrifice that's kind of risky right there those two cards make it pretty risky and then at the bottom of the deck I have this one the world in reverse I have to flip it because it's this deck which is public failure and you got public failure that is not a good combination. That is high risk cards right there. Very high risk. But we do have, he's going to try and tame himself from within. He's going to try and hold back, I would say, from doing it, from doing the unthinkable or what people do do when they're, when they're broken apart, broken apart. He's going to try to stay calm. He's going to try and maintain strength being broken apart. And his wheels falling off. The wheels fell off. And the moon in reverse. Confession time. He knows he's going to need to confess. And we also have here in the center. I like going through for the center of the deck here. Justice. Justice in reverse. So he know, he's going to realize everything was unfair. Uh, that that cause and effect didn't go in his favor. And with the justice in reverse. That's just speaking volumes that um, uh, the truth came out. And uh, the truth came out that he was very dishonest and unfair. So that's... All of these just really scream um, high risk, high, high risk. Not going to say he is because he's going to try and be strong through breaking apart and that public failure, untapped talent, manipulation, taking that new perspective, confession time, my world's falling apart, I'm unfair and unjustified. Uh, that's so risky right there. So he is high risk. I say yes, he's still extremely high risk. Uh, but he's got that strength card trying to stay strong. I think it would be the family not wanting to take that one final step to destroy the family because we got the line there is how I feel. So let's get some more cards on Harry, the anti-monarchist. Harry, the anti-monarchist. Here we go. 
heart with the key welcoming love meeting the one open your heart getting together perfect so i think it's all because he wants megan to be accepted he wants them to open their heart and let her in even though everything's happened he still pushes for this still pushes for for her acceptance even though she brought it on herself but he also realizes the sabotage and rebuilding they sabotage and they need to rebuild and and persistent and working at it so that's going to end up being the final call for him but he is going to try and take them down in the chaser chaser of codependent relationship fear of abandonment issues there's that borderline card i say he's borderline and he fears abandonment so that once he's he does like a major destruction job he's going to go into full regret mode he's going to realize how he totally screwed up and that he was the key to the situation because we got a key here he unlocked that situation and he needs he now he sabotaged and he's rebuilding and he's going to chase them at some point in time he's going to want to go running back and chase back after them uh, because he's codependent and he's got abandonment issues so that's what that is saying and then we also have here self-indulgence that he was focusing on himself worth time to heal shadow work so he's going to need to do shadow work self-appreciation a uh, shadow work would be looking at your dark side harry the hermit in reverse uh, who is lonely isolated has an inability to look at himself is finally going to indulge himself in actually looking at himself try and find and go and do some shadow work uh, which really is going deep so that could be a therapist right there and unlocking the situation with the therapist and then the other side of the inside of the deck what do i have here i have here the soul mates and it's going to be about the mate he chose and why he chose her the partnerships and the soul contract that con that chasing her why he chased her why he chose her above others uh, when he could have had something else quite possibly or held out held out for something better uh, and why he decided to jump the gun why he you know why he did what he did self-sabotaging he knows he's codependent so uh, and, and he's got to go inward so when he goes inward he is going to look at the soul connection this connection that he created and embraced and became a puppet for so he's going to be facing himself at some point in time he will face himself it's going to come probably with maturity uh, I don't expect it until he probably gets in his 40s probably and yeah the courtship why he courted he's going to court the family again at some point in time I feel and yeah the judge the in front of the judge so the two of them will get a divorce we have the courtship going to court so more than likely that will be divorce at some point in time eventually and she will get the message of concern and it will be also with while they're still in Montecito or living together she will get you know it will come down to that at some point in time so and they're going to have to fork out she'll he'll have to fork out money because I think he's going to be completely uh, eliminated this is really going to fall on him <clears throat> not that we care that much because I know a lot of us don't anymore we've kind of given up on him um, and then we have this here prison the prison yeah he's living in his own little prison here and, and this nice mansion is like a prison it really feels like a prison to him and we have here murky thoughts and she's got a lot of murky thoughts he's got murky thoughts they both feel like they're living in a prison together and they would like to both escape each other in all due honesty with this judge card they all they neither one of them really want to be together and they they get constant messages of concern over their character and reading texts and emails and people talking about them they don't stay oblivious to what people say about them like they say they do they totally pay attention so let's get a spirit animal on harry the anti-monarchist i'm going to put that back Harry the anti-monarchist. Harry the anti-monarchist. Here we go. We've got the starfish. What is the starfish? Well, that is a California fish. <laughs> I used to pick those out of the ocean when I was a kid. Okay, 97. Starfish is in the upright. It is uplifting, artistic, and expressive. So starfish is uh, mesmerizing to all. So he feels he is mesmerizing to all. They're a thrill to be around. 
they put you under a spell of, of divinity itself. So he wants to put people under a spell. He really likes the idea of putting people under his spell, or Markle does. And it appears when it's important to ask, am I being swayed by outward appearances? What dreams have I put aside to please others? Yes, Harry, what dreams have you put aside to please Markle? Yeah. So, and she wants to be a star. And he's basically put aside his dreams of Africa so she can have what she wants. So, yeah, really, that's what it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.